Hi, I'm Gabby from Ray Studios, and today I'll be reviewing the Saramonic CamMic Plus. First, let's unbox it. Inside the box, there is the mic itself that comes with a phone cover already on it. There are two cables, one TRS to connect with your camera or audio recorder and one TRS to connect with your smartphone. A little disclaimer here, Saramonic sent me this mic for review but they did not tell me what to say, so this will be my honest opinion. In this video I'll be covering design, general performance, comparison to other popular mics that I already own, blogging test and final thoughts. Feel free to jump to any part in the video as you like. When it comes to design, this is one of the coolest looking shotgun mic ever. It kind of looks like a futuristic weapon. It's relatively light at just over 100 grams. It comes with a sick foam windshield cover that will come handy when you're in a windy situation. I'll be testing that out later on on this video. The shock mount is integrated on the design of the mic itself and it seems to do a good job of absorbing movement to reduce handling noise. There is a battery compartment that takes AA batteries. In the back, we can find the only switch that goes from off to on to local filter. But this is a mic. What is really important about it is audio quality. Right now, you are listening to this mic. As you can see, it's very close to my mouse and it's plugged into my Zoom H5 recorder. The CAM Mic Plus have a directional polar pattern with a frequency range of 40 to 10 Hz and 80 Hz with the local filter on. I'm gonna move it back to approximately 50 cm. Let's see how it sounds like to was more or less a boom pole distance, which is 30 to 50 cm, with the mic just off frame. I adjusted the preamps on the recorder to minus 12 decibels. I take opportunity to tell you that I'm shooting in my living room. This is not a controlled environment. The fridge is running, there is noise coming from outside. I will now move it back to 1.5 meters and let's see how that sounds like. So now I just moved the, the mic at about 1.5 meters, almost 2 meters. And this is what is common for event shooting or for documentary running gun in which you basically for example, if you're shooting a wedding and you want to capture what the people is saying on the table and you're not being wiring the people with lavalier mics, you're just pointing the camera at them from more or less a table distance, right? And this is how it will sound like. So now it's time to compare the CAM mic plus to some other microphones. At the moment, you're listening to the Imbule microphone on the Canon EOS M50. I set the levels to minus 12 decibels, more or less. And I can see that the preamps are like boosted up like all the way to 75%. Um, before I jump into testing the different mics, I just want to, I want to show you and compare the size of this. This is the Saramonic Cam Mic Plus on my left, and this is the Saramonic SRN3 on my right. This is a microphone that I've been using for quite a while, and it's a lot smaller. You have a headphone jack, and it's also have an extra microphone plug, have a plus 10 decibel, so, it's a bit more um, fully featured than this one, and it's also battery power. It doesn't do very good in windy situations, just because the phone cover, the windshield cover, is just too small, and I think this is gonna do a lot better. Now, when you compare it with the RAW Video Micro, well, um, this one does a bit better on windy situations than the SRN3. Uh, in my experience, it controls uh, wind noise a little bit better because it have a dead kitty have a dead cut here, so that, that's a lot better for uh, windy situations. But the general overall audio quality is better on the SRN3. Um, that's probably because it's um, battery power, so it will have better preamps, and it also have a lot more features, while these have absolutely no features. Um, another thing mentioning about the RAW Video Micro, the, the right coat um, mount, the shock mount, it broke and I have to replace it, that cost me like about $10. So it's something worth mentioning because it, it might look good, but uh, yeah, it, it breaks. And another thing is uh, this one and flash with the camera and this one doesn't. So if you wanna look through the viewfinder, you're gonna hit with the mic, you're gonna hit your forehead with the mic. So um, I believe this have the same problem, basically mounts and a little bit will stick out, but I think not as much as the RAW Video Micro, but this is definitely the biggest one of the bunch of shotgun mics 
Previously, I was recording audio at the very beginning of the video using my uh, wireless lavalier, which uh, is something that I love. I love to use lavalier for all my videos. But if I'm vlogging, of course, I'm gonna use a shotgun or when I'm shooting events. So let's test this one first and see how that sounds like when I just mount it on top of the camera. So I just mounted the Cam Mic Plus right in top of my Canon EOS M50. The distance is more or less about 60 centimeters from my mouse and I adjusted the preamps on the camera to more or less 50 to 60 percent so yeah it should, it should be a less noise than with the in uh, microphone as the Canon EOS M50. Now let's test the next mic. So now you're listening to the Rode Video Micro they're about same distance as before I just throw that mic right on top of my Canon EOS M50 which have relatively good preamps. Talking about the preamps, I have to uh, adjust the preamps uh, a little bit higher to like about 70%. So you can already see how the Cam Mic Pro have um, better sensitivity, have better pickup pattern. So what do you think, how this sounds like? Well, now time to test the SRN3. Okay, done with the raw video micro. Now you're listening to the Saramonic SRN3, which, um, basically have the most sensitivities more sensitive to to my voice and i basically have to adjust the preamps on the canon EOS m50 to about 45 so that will allow me to get less noise less background noise at least and getting a more clear audio or at least you will you're supposed to hear my voice a lot more clearer um also um i'm not really have, haven't yet listened to this audio but you can let me know in the comment section down below which one sounds better to you now it's time to test a uh, blogging so let's head outside and do that this is how it blogging will be like right so i'm walking around testing how the shock mount will do like handling all this movement of the mic of, of me walking that's something that you need to look for another thing is that i want to tell you before i continue testing is I have in a Canon EOS M50 with a speed booster with a Canon 16 to 35 f4 IS. Uh, it's a pretty big setup and this microphone is big so it looks pretty good. This is more or less how it looks like. It looks professional, it definitely looks good. Uh, what do you think? Uh, besides looking good, it have a pretty big um, windshield cover which uh, is not a dead cut, it's just made of foam. But I'm pretty confident that it will handle uh, wind pretty good as a matter of fact it just got pretty windy just now uh, you can see the tree leaf moving around behind me so it's quite windy and I'm pretty confident that you should be able to handle this wind pretty good so I now turn on the local filter um, I don't know if I got any wind noise previously when the wind was blowing the wind is still blowing now so by having the local filter on I'm making pretty sure that there is not going to be any wind noise in the shoot. Uh, yet again, I'm going to go show you this tree behind me. And you can see the tree leaves are shaking all over the place. Uh, I don't have much hair that will fly away with the, you know, it will like move when there is wind. So I have to show you the, the tree leaf. Now, another thing to check when you're blogging, um, besides the shock mount um, and how does the wind noise do, is the off-axis re rejection. So basically this is a directional polar pattern condenser microphone. What it means is as I move the camera that way, now it's 90 degrees for me. I'm always talking about the same level, but you should hear me a lot softer now. As I bring it back on, you should hear me a lot more clear. Let me do that again, but this time I will put the low cut filter off. So it's just how the microphone sounds like because I don't really like using local filter, it makes my voice very thin. So I switch the local filter off. This is how the mic sounds. I, by the way, I, I adjust the, the levels to minus 12 decibels, so it just sounds good. And let's test again. This is with the microphone at about 90 degrees from me. So you should hear my voice a lot softer now. And this is with the mic pointing completely in the other direction, so 180 degrees from my mouse. So you should be maybe hearing a little bit better than when I put it at 90 degrees, and that's normal. Um, I bring it back at me. So that's pretty much it. It's, I think this is a microphone that is aimed at other bloggers, 
or documentary shooters or event shooters. I, I tend to shoot a lot of events, so it's pretty helpful for me. Um, like I say, it looks really cool. So that's something in my favor. It looking professional while you're working is it's also important, right? There is one more thing I want to test. Now, this mic is supposed to work also with phones and they have included this cable in the package. It already comes with the mic. So I want to test it out with, um, with the, my LG V30 and see how that works like. So now I mounted the LG V30 Plus in a little uh, small rake. It's called the Ulansu rake. I think I reviewed it before. You can check in my videos. But yeah, I don't know which camera I should talk. This one right here, taking to the LG V30 Plus. I mounted the microphone right on top. So you see how it sounds like. There is people talking here, people talking behind me. It's a good way to, to test the sound quality when there is noise around me, especially for blogging. So this is how it sounds like mounted directly on the LG V30 Plus. And should be fully manual. I set the audio to minus 12 decibels, more or less. I can't really see because I'm using the rear camera on the on the smartphone, so you can see the screen. Um, I hope you like this video. If this video has uh, anyhow been helpful to you, please let me make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Especially subscribe. That will help me a lot if you do. This is Gabby from Ray Studios. Till next time.